It's the first day back for most Guam Department of Education students. D-Day for the government of Guam's largest agency to test out its plans to get the kids learning going despite the various shortfalls. GDOE rolling out traditional double session and alternating schedules for this year, all in an effort to get students back in the classroom. GDOE even delaying the school year by two weeks to buy more time to make some much-needed repairs to the poor conditions at its facilities, only worsened by Typhoon Mawar. But has all that hard work paid off? KUAM caught up with new GDOE superintendent Dr. Kenneth Swanson as he was making his rounds for the first day of school. Are you confident that students are returning back to safe campuses and why? Uh, yes, I am. Our, our staff and the, all of the communities that support our schools have been working diligently. It's diligent work to help schools meet a better standard. The efforts also seen by Ukadu High School student Irish Mabalad, who again had to share a campus with another school. The first day of school was really, really great. The, the building is really clean and nice. And yeah, I had fun for my first day. Fun for her and for parents from the high school to include the stakeholders of F.B. Leon Guerrero Middle. Students and staff at the GIGO school were forced into double session at the Dededo campus last school year due to unsafe conditions, to include a piece of concrete that fell from the ceiling. Today, parents Julie Ilarte and Kristen Meiji shared how they were more focused on the plus side of their children finally being able to get back to learning. Everything else, it's smooth. I don't see any problem at all when the first day, no problem at all. The school aid are very helpful regarding the um, first timer and then the kids, uh, they just uh, guide them inside the school. So. The positive feedback despite the setback felt island-wide by all public school stakeholders. That two-week delay to, to open schools really paid off. It gave us a chance to get through every little nook and cranny on all the campuses and secure those areas that need to be repaired. And, and give us a better idea of exactly what the scope of the repairs needs to be. Uh, in some cases, it's less than we thought. In some cases, it's going to be a lot more. But it's cases like these that Ukudu 10th grader Jalen Jadier admits still needs fixing. It's pretty good, but some classes don't have aircon right now, so that's just the problem because some, some rooms are hot. But they have fans everywhere with the classes who don't have aircon. Mabalad echoing the shortfalls she spotted as well. The library has like no ceiling at all. They're still working on it. The conditions here was a first for freshman Tarin Arjona. She's in a new school, a new environment, and like many more, making the adjustments to fit in. It went well for my first day. It was kind of like it's different from AMS because like our classes are shorter, 40 minutes only. Before it used to be like 75, I think. Yeah. But um, it's not that bad, but it's kind of awkward seeing many people from different schools. So right. it's hard to adjust. Yeah. Meantime, Superintendent Swanson also responding to photos sent to KUAM, depicting a similar scene at DL Perez Elementary in Jigo. Parents reporting that kindergarten students were placed in classrooms without air conditioning that reeked of mold. Would you deem this safe? I haven't got any information on it. It's the first time seeing that, so I really couldn't comment on it. But we'll certainly follow up and make sure that it is a place, uh, you know, the the situation has been remedied at some degree. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I haven't seen a campus. I started at the southern end of the island and I'm working my way north, so I'll make it a point to stop through there today and, and see for myself. Still a rocky start off to the new school year that Swanson says he will continue to work to correct. I'm really excited to get the year started and I, and I can't thank our, our total community enough for the effort they've put in to help bring the schools up to the standard that we want to have is it right and I will say it's a minimum standard right now we need their support and help to continue that process and it, it will go on for a couple more years to get many of the things absolutely and completely rectified because of the cost and because of the size of the projects